Today we're talking about when is the best time that you should start penile rehabilitation after you've had prostate cancer surgery. Now of course always take the advice of your urologist and your healthcare team. They have your full medical history and penile rehabilitation is not a standardized approach, it's tailored to the individual. In terms of the evidence, there are two studies that both suggest essentially it's better to start your penile rehabilitation sooner rather than later. So there's one by John Mulhall and colleagues back from 2010, and I'll pop two links down in the description box below if you want to read the research yourself. And they looked at men who started rehab below six months versus those after, and their rehab protocol consisted of PDE5 inhibitors like Viagra and injections. Now, they found that men who started below six months, later down the line, they actually looked after two years, found that their erectile function scores were higher than those who started afterwards. And then this second study, which was by Tobias Kohler and colleagues, that's from 2007, this one looked at the use of a vacuum erection device used one month after a prostatectomy versus those who started it six months after. And what they found was that those who started one month afterwards preserved their penile length going forward better than those who started at six months. So the general principle is sooner rather than later, but keep in mind there's no standard guideline saying if you don't start by this point then there's no chance of getting your recovery potential, or there's no, no guideline as well on you shouldn't start at this point, it's not good for your health. It's best to go on what your urologist and your healthcare team suggest and also to listen to your body. If you start doing rehabilitation early after surgery and you're feeling pain, you shouldn't be in pain, just stop and speak to your healthcare provider. But there's no harm to your health by starting rehabilitation early. You can also start it when you're still incontinent and in fact pelvic floor exercises that you do for your incontinence have now been shown to also help speed up erection recovery. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked this and you want to see more just like it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also feel free to comment with any questions that you'd like future videos to address. If you're on a prostate cancer recovery journey, you can also join the Touchy Subject Members Club. It's free and you get an area that's full of lots of extra resources. The description on how to do so is in the description box below.